Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you have a wonderful day or night, and welcome back, my welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transformer review. Yeah, y'all know I've been waiting for this. Yeah, y'all know. Come on now. So excited. This is Earthrise. Starscream. Ooh, ooh. Big shout out to Mike. He found this guy for me. I met him this morning. Picked it up. Very nicely done. Kind of looks weird. I don't know. Looks like Starscream, but doesn't look like Starscream. Just weird. The head sculpt. But as always, pretty cool. There you go. And then you got the back. You got the hammer. Gish, gish. Awesome. Awesome. So excited. I've been waiting for this guy. Uh, uh, uh. But before that, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me. It doesn't cost a damn thing. It's free. If you hit that little bell, it will notify new content. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. It's all in the description. It's easy peasy. So let me squeeze it. Do me a favor. Go check out Mr. Terry Wong. He's at Terry's TFF's Club. A wonderful man. Awesome guy to deal with, man. Easy site, man. It's easy to navigate. Really nice. Awesome. He's got everything for you, man. He's got Legends. He's got Third Party. He's got Hasbro. He's got knockoffs. Man, he's got you covered. Transformers galore. Man, free shipping, fast shipping. Wonderful man to deal with, man. Tell him Deluxe sent you. He might even give you a virtual hug. All right. Mm -mm. Oh, it smells good to get a new Transformer. It feels good. It smells good. Oh, it's so good. Man, let me get this fella out, transform him, get to know him a little better, all that wonderful stuff, and I'll be right back and I'll tell you what I think. Yeah. All right, here is Earthrise Starscream in his alt mode. And I'd say, man, from up here, he looks wonderful. Only issue I really have, I wish the Decepticon symbols were a little bigger and maybe a little brighter. I don't know, maybe a little more inside too. But that's just a nitpick. But man, it looks good. Look at that red right there, that cherry red. I like that. Nice little orange cat pit. Got some nice paint up here, some red and some white stripes, some red and white stripes right there. Looks really good. Then you got the null rays, they're pretty good. Got some hollowness in there. And then you get down to here, and it's got a big old hole in his chest. Eh, not ideal. You know, and he doesn't clean up that well. I mean, you can see his arms and hands in there. Eh, you know, it's not that great looking under there. And he don't have any landing gear. I thought this was a landing gear. I tried to pull this thing out forever, and I was like, I don't think that comes out. But no landing gear. Well, ah, that's just a little nitpick. These things will flop up and down a little bit. But, man, he looks really nice. Like this way. I don't know. It's not terrible. It's not the worst thing, but could be a little better. But I do like the alt mode. I have to say that. He does have a little peg right there you can plug in a battle master or something if you want to put in there or something like that that's pretty cool well, looks pretty cool doing like that and he turns over like yeesh how you doing got a big old hole for you gom, 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 gom. so not terrible but not the greatest either but i still love it it's starscream mm -mm -mm. that is the alt mode for starscream all right i forgot that he does come with instructions Really nice and everything. And you come with that little red decoder thing and everything, but it has no words you know, on the background. You're supposed to put the red thing up against that. So, yeah, it didn't say anything. It didn't show anything. So, yeah. But yeah, that's what it comes with. It comes with the null race, too. And as always, let's do some comparisons. Why not scale? Here's a siege for you right there. All right. Let's get a classics tracks up in there. Pretty cool. Why not throw Bumblebee in there? Who can't have enough Bumblebee? And for the, you know, craps and giggles, there's a wheelie from Legends. All right, scale. And as always, crapagonics, a roll of crappy toilet paper, and some pepper spray. Scale. All right, so let's transform this fella. Why not? Heck yeah. Look at these blasters. There's null rays. Got some detail in them a little bit. A little waffleness. Put some syrup on them. Mm -mm -mm. Take them off. I'm going to flip these up like this. You're going to take these. Untab them, and then you're gonna kind of push them like that. They do will come pop off a little bit, but they just pop right back on. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna tab this like that, lift up this little crotch piece. You're gonna untab those. You're gonna combine wars them out like that. You're gonna 
like that. Move this down. Move this foot up. Move this down. Move the foot up. Let them rest like that. And you got the legs, folks. All right, come up to here. I'm gonna, whoops, untab the chest. I'm gonna try to untab the chest. There we go. Okay. <laughs> gonna open up the arms. And you're gonna untab that. Do a little spin a rooney. Take that out. And you're gonna have. Gonna put this down there. And you're gonna close up the chest. There you go. Move in the arms. Well, my goodness, I'm making it harder than it's supposed to be. There we go. No, it don't. <laughs> now you're going to close the chest. All right. With the hands, it's pretty cool. You're going to open up. I like how they transform. And you're going to... Didn't mean to hit the camera. Sorry. I'm going to try to bind the wars it out a little bit. Like that. Do like that. Like that. And then you got the arms. One of the arms. Put that out. that out like that kind of like kind of combine towards it and there there we are that is how you transform starscream yay right, let's take a look at the sculpt and the articulation for starscream i put his null rays on there look pretty good you can hold hold them in the hand also if you want to do that so nice head sculpt but once again, why will they not give Starscream a smirk? With Siege, they didn't give him a smirk, and now they didn't, you know, he just kind of got the, you know, eh, kind of face. Nice silver paint, nice beautiful red eyes. I love that. It looks really good. Nice shiny plastic. So you can look down quite a bit, look up a little bit, side to, all the way around, side to side, and give you a little add to. So if he had a smirk, that'd be pretty sweet. Move on down to his turbine titties. Obviously painted in there. Got the cockpit. All this is painted red. Would have been cool if they would have painted that yellow in there. You know, for the intakes and all that stuff. So, nicely painted right here for his, uh, you know, cro cro crotch piece. So, you can go, and eh, you can move these all the way a little bit. I guess you can go all the way around. Just got to maneuver these. So, the wings go uh, like this, and they build, bend like this also. So, you know, pretty cool. So you can go all the way up to there, and you do have a bicep swivel, a little tight, um, more than 90 degrees for your elbow bend, it's not bad. Uh, no swivel for the hands, but they can move up a little bit because of transformation, if you want to count that. Moving on down the waist, no waist swivel, that sucks, sucks major, that really does. That, I mean, come on now. And then this, you know, I wish the crotch piece would have been cut. Right here, so it would have been like that. So now he just has one crotch piece like that. So, eh, I don't know. Kind of disappointed with articulation. So he can't do the, well, can you not do the Van Damme? He cannot do all the Van Damme either. Man, come on now. You kick up to there and not much back because the butt flap gets in the way. You get a thigh swivel. Uh, more than 90 degrees for the knee bend a little bit. That does come on tad a little bit. Come down and you got some nice... Gunmetal right there, some blue paint right there, some nice silver down there, or gunmetal also. So you do got a toe tilt down if you want to count that. And he does have a pretty good rocker, significant rocker right there for you. Alright, move the things right there. And you got this. It cleans up pretty decent, but except for the little nose cone. It's not too terrible. I guess you can line it up a little bit, make it a little better. But a little waffle in here, not much. Just a little cut out. Cleans up pretty good on the feet. You got the kickstand back there. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. That is the sculpt work and the articulation for Earthrise Starscream. All right, there he is next to his Waymate, another Voyager, a Deluxe, and a Legends class from Hasbro. Scale.
Crapagonics, some pepper spray, crappy toilet paper, and squeaks. Scale. Doll. So let's talk about some Earthrise Star Cream. All right. So negative alt mode. I wish he had landing gear. You know, that's kind of a nitpick, but you know, I really wish he had landing gear. And you know, I wish the Decepticon symbols were a little bigger on the wings, and I wish they were a little brighter. And you know, he looks great from the top. I really does, and everything. So when you move down to the bottom part of him, if you turn him over, it kind of gives a eh like that. But overall, I love the alt mode. It's not that bad. So the transformation is real easy. It's fun. You know, I had really the arm, the hand arm thing is really fun to transform. It's really cool transformation. So really good on that. I love the sculpt work. It looks really good. I wish he had a smirk. I don't know what it is with Siege. He didn't get a smirk and now he, did, he didn't get a smirk with him. I think that's a perfect face sculpt for him is have a smirk, but they didn't give him one. So that really sucks. But overall, I love the sculpt work. It looks really good. There was a little issue with the, uh, between the shoulders and the, you know, the, uh, uh, turbo titties there's a little space in between their little gaps so that might bother some people it kind of bothered me too a little bit i didn't really notice it when i was doing articulation but when i you know saw it i was like ooh you know, so there's a little gap right there, so that might bother some people. But overall, the sculpt is nice. Hardware is, you know, is great. I didn't feel like I was gonna break anything. You know, it's got some, you know, decent plastic. It's not heavy or anything, but you know, it's got some decent hardware and everything. Paint-wise, it's pretty good. I love the red, you know, the chest and everything, and then the turbine titties are painted, all that stuff. So, it, you know, the face paint is really good. So it's got some decent paint on there. Like I just said, the Decepticon symbols, I wish they were a little brighter, but other than that, it looks pretty good for paint-wise. Articulation, that's where it really suffers man it doesn't have a waist swivel and that really sucks man because i would love to post this thing the siege one has some really great articulation and this one it's just kind of lacking and it just really sucks you know no hand movement or anything like that you can move it up and down but that's the transformation but it would have been cool to have some rotation but that waist swivel really really hurts this figure i don't know what they were doing with not giving him a waist rotation and i don't like the crotch piece i wish they would have cut it down so it wouldn't be one flap that kind of looks ugly too, but articulation is kind of hit and miss with this thing, so yeah. So overall, I'm just kind of mad on this. I love Starscream, he's my favorite character and I'm really looking forward to this. I have fun with him, he's a good, fun transformer, but he has some issues. So uh, I was really upset about that, but overall, I got him because I love the Seekers and I love Starscream, but you know, some may want to pass on this one because you're just not that big of a Starscream fan or the Seeker fan. But overall, he's a fun transformation and it's all that matters. That's all that really matters. You have fun. So I'm getting on the floor. I'm going to do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. So. Yeah, it just kind of disappointed me. You know, I was really looking forward to this because the C Star Scream is just awesome. I'm going to do a comparison with them and all that stuff. But man, just some of this, you know, that waist articulation really sucks. And like I told you, I was talking about that. It's got that little gap right between the shoulders and the turbine titties. Yeah, I mean, that's just, I don't know. And no landing gear? I mean, come on now, it's a jet. Why do you not have landing gear? So, you know, I'm still happy with my purchase. But I just kind of disappointed. You know, it's got some, you know, negative parts about it. I love the alt mode. The gem mode looks really good, especially on the top. You know, when you're looking at it from the bottom, it's like, huh, I don't know about that. It's got a big old gap. But overall, I'm excited, you know, for this line still. I'm I'm so, you know, getting ready for Earth Rise. We saw some new stuff. I'll be talking about this this weekend uh, with what's new in Transformers and everything, Skylinks. But Starscream just, eh, kind of hit and miss. And that really sucks because he's my favorite. Ain't that right? Yeah, you suck. Man, you ain't got nothing to say about that poop scooper. Or cat poop, whatever you are. Yeah, that is true. Man, watch out. Watch out, man. Don't get me in this. I'm just sitting over here and just eating some shark cones and... Oh, he's not eating himself. Come on now. What about you, chicken? You about to get re replaced. What you think about that? I ain't never getting replaced. He looks good. I love that Skylinks, but man, he'll never replace chicken. I'm the OG. OG chicken. All right. All right. Well, that was my review over the Earthrise Starscream. Eh, kind of, you know, I'm so, it sucks that I'm kind of disappointed in this fella. Because I love some Starscream, but, you know, give him a smirk. Come on, Hasbro. What is wrong with y'all? All right. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me. It doesn't cost a damn thing. Uh, hit me up some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And uh, what, are y'all getting this guy? Mm, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a hit and miss or whatever. Anyways, um, I guess I'll see you in the next Earthrise review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks.
No damn smirk. Come on now. Look at that. I'm Starscream. King Starscream.